We're live this morning at the Congressional Towers in Rockville, where a massive storm came through this area, tons of flooding in the area and lots of damage. So neighbors tell me that they believe that the water came rushing down from back here, that there is a country club back there and a creek is there. But this dumpster wasn't here when they went to sleep last night and the water came rushing through so hard that it pushed open this door right here. You can see the water is still inside of the building. So those ground level apartments and uh, the basement of this building is completely flooded. Now, not only are we dealing with flooding in this area and the water is starting to recede some, but about 11 cars and another dumpster all pushed. So if you can hear that kind of siren going off in the background, that's a car alarm that was pushed into another car. So we have this dumpster that's in the middle of the way right here. You have tons of neighbors outside as well because the building was evacuated. The fire department is here and you have folks now woken up in the middle of the night inspecting the damage to their, their cars. This car was not supposed to be here. This person didn't park their car here. It's crashed to another car over here as well. We also notice in the area we have a lot of mud because all of this was underwater just about an hour or so ago. I've been speaking with neighbors talking about some of the damage in the area. They don't want to be on camera obviously because they were woken up in the middle of the night and don't uh, look necessarily TV presentable. But I'm going to speak now with Oneida because she was telling me about some of the damage that you saw. You said you've lived here for 11 years. Mm -hmm. What did you wake up to this morning? Uh, I woke up to voices and I woke up to a sound like a car crash it seemed like I wasn't too sure I live on the corner uh, right here above where all this flooding happened so when I looked out the window I saw like all these cars and a lot of noise going on so I went outside of my balcony to my balcony and I looked out the window closer and I'm like oh crap there's water all over so the water was really high what appeared it was like it looked like it was this high um, so anyway, basically the flooding came from the left and the water pushed through obviously all this area and it pushed to sorry, it pushed towards those cars right there. And in your 11 years of living here, we've had tons of storms. Have you ever seen anything happen like no. this? No, no. And it happened so quickly. You guys were able, so when did you guys decide to evacuate or when you were you evacuated from the building? It was, I think, when all the commotion, all the car alarms going off at, all at once, that was very weird. That never happens. You get in a car alarm going off here once or twice, maybe a car, but not like 10, 11 cars, car alarms going off all at once. Okay. And so again, neighbors being evacuated from the, um, their building in the middle of the night, and you guys were evacuated around what time? We were not evacuated. Um, we came out on our own because really the water only affected the terrace level. Everyone else, like we have power, you can see it. So I think it was just like us neighbors seeing what was going on and coming outside. And the elevators in the building not working? Yeah, they're not working. And how many floors is this building? Um, seven. Seven floors. Okay, well, thank you so much. And no we'll problem. continue to let you assess the damage. But again, the Congressional Towers, this is a number of buildings. How many buildings? Four. Four buildings total in this area. Neighbors outside. We'll be talking to them throughout the morning. And we'll bring you the latest from Rockville uh, on air and online. I'll be tweeting out videos as well. But that's the latest. I'm Megan Rivers. I'll send things back to you guys in the studio.